Okay, so here we have the Force IF 1407 4100 KV motor. Uh, comes in this usual anti static bag. And uh, they give you 4 M2 by M2 by 5, it looks like uh, mounting screws. So this would be good for 3mm arms. So pretty, pretty much a standard motor. So the base on the motor is pretty much standard. Uh, they're using the retaining E-clip uh, to retain the shaft and comes with this aluminum nylock and uh, this one has an integrated, uh, integrated sh uh, prop shaft on the bell so it, it, they're not using the single piece steel shaft which is good I think for these size motors for the 1407s you don't really need it the, the, the single piece shaft I think actually this may be a little bit lighter if you use the uh, integrated uh, integrated shaft. These motors, because they're so small, uh, they don't re really need the extra strength on the on the shaft. And this comes with uh, 70 millimeters worth of wire. A little bit, little bit short. If you want to use 4-in-1 uh, EACs, uh, they should really give you a little bit longer, maybe 100 or so. So these are a little bit short. You're gonna have to end up uh, splicing some wires to, to mount them if you're using center mounted EACs. So let's see what it weighs. Uh, weighs in at 14.5. Pretty, pretty good weight actually. Uh, that's a good weight on this motor for a 1407. Okay, so let's take the circ clip out and uh, and let's look at it on the magnifying glass. Okay, so here it is. You can see the air gap between the magnet and the stator is pretty normal it's not overly tight so i removed the e-clip it came out pretty easy those are the easy ones so bell comes out pretty normal uh, shaft is two millimeters there's some balancing mud right there so the motor's been been balanced the magnets took uh, pretty normal and not, not extra chunky or curved so they're just regular magnets the shaft uh, looks like it's just pressed thin shaft there's no grub screw windings as you can see they're pretty pretty neat windings looks like a single strand wire and let's measure the stator should be seven mm uh, should be seven millimeters uh, yeah that's uh, seven millimeters so nominal size uh, nothing surprising laminations they look like they're 0.2 millimeters laminations standard motor base so overall pretty pretty good construction on the motor so so now we looked at it let's uh, put it together and let's check it out in the on the thrust stand let's see what it does All right, so here are the results for the thrust test of the Force IF 1407 4100 KV. 
the motor measure slightly lower 4010 kV. This is pretty typical for most motors. They'll either measure slightly above or slightly below the stated kV. So 4010, that's pretty good within the margin of error for motors. So I went ahead and tested on 3S and 4S and because of the high KV I tested these props. I didn't test the 5 inch prop because I just think uh, this is too much of a high KV for this motor to run on a 5 inch prop so it's just not efficient. The motor will run it and it'll work but uh, from what I've been seeing the small batteries anything anything below 1000 uh, milliamp battery it just won't cut it uh, even 850 milliamp batteries I think they're they're sagging if you're using 5 inch props uh, you'll need definitely need lower KV for that uh, from what I've been seeing 2800 to 3200 KV so motor is performing quite well as you can see it's breaking the 600 uh, gram thrust uh, value so pretty pretty good thrust of course uh, because of the high kv the amps are going to show a little bit high but keep in mind these are static thrusts so the amps are always somewhat exaggerated uh, in the air this will be a lot lower usually 25 to 35 percent lower is what i've been seeing so overall the motor is doing quite well in all these three inch props so this should make for a very fast uh, motor i did test it on four inch prop the Gen Fan 4045, uh, only a two blade prop. I feel that that's probably the most aggressive prop you should run on this uh, on this motor. Anything more, it'd probably just be wasting the battery into heat, just converting all those amps into heat. Uh, on 3S, it does pretty well too. If you want to run the four inch prop on 3S, that seems like a viable option uh, nearly 600 grams and pretty manageable amps also the uh, militia brothers uh, three and a half inch tri-blade did pretty okay on 3s it's not gonna be that fast but it should be pretty good if you guys want to run three and a half inch prop so overall a uh, pretty good performance out of this motor so there's the thrust results uh, pretty comparable to other motors I think on this uh, size and KV. Hope you find the test useful and hope you like the video. We got more thrust tests coming up. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.